Can you actually feed silicone babies? Where do you get your reborns? Is it easy to buy dolls on eBay or are they scarce? Can you do a video with all of your babies? Which one is your favorite, Carly or Isabella? Do you see yourself quitting? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my two channel. Now for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A for 11,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I love all of you guys. I still can't believe 11,000 people follow me. I love you guys so much and I decided to do a Q&A and I wrote down all the questions that you guys had for me. And for 20,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, a pretty big giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for 11,000 and continue watching. Okay guys, so the first question is, can you actually feed silicone babies? So actually, yes you can, but there's a certain type of silicone baby you have to get. It has to be one of those ones that come with a drink and wet system for you to be able to feed it. You can actually give your doll your own drink and wet system. You'll have to watch videos on how to make a baby that has a drink and wet system, but you can actually make your own with one that doesn't already have it. If it does not have a drink and wet system, you can not actually feed it. Yeah, I do not have one that has a drink and wet system. I probably will get one in the future. So the next question is, where do you get your reborn? I get them from eBay or Amazon. I really don't trust Instagram and all those other apps. Maybe I will in the future, but I get mine from Amazon and eBay, so yeah. The next question is, do you like your dolls painted or unpainted? I like mine painted. I am thinking about making my own silicone babies and reborn dolls in the future and painting them myself to make them just look more realistic how I would want them to look. But me personally, I like mine painted. But the next question is, do you have to powder it? So if you're getting a new silicone baby, yes you do. You have to powder it not all the time do not powder it all the time if it gets to the point where everything is sticking on it and it's sticky then yes powder it but when it's not really sticking to anything and it's still nice and smooth you should not powder it all the time because sometimes powdering this local baby all the time can really damage the paint on them and them themselves so don't powder them all the time is it easy to buy dolls on ebay or are they scams so Every seller on eBay is its own person. eBay is not the owner of all the things that they sell. But if you ask me, every website has a scam on it, to be honest. Amazon has scams, eBay has scams. So me personally, just be careful who you buy from. Um, I get my dolls from Fashion Silicone. Next question is, how do you make it look like they are drinking the milk? So pretty much in the middle of the video, I'll go up and I'll go to my bathroom and dump the milk in the sink and then come back and try to go in the same position that I was the first time I was feeding the baby. You guys will probably see that in my videos if you guys look. The next question is, can you do a video with all of your babies? So I'm actually thinking about doing that. I think my next video might be like a night routine with them all all of them like some of the ones that you guys haven't seen in a long time all of them so i think i might do a video like that for you guys especially like a gratitude for 11k so the next question is will you do a outing so i'm actually thinking about doing an outing soon i'm just trying to get more comfortable with taking them in public and the thing is when you go out on outings with your dolls you have to always be prepared for the bad like the hate the staring the mugging, the stuff like that. Um, and me personally, I don't really like a lot of attention being drawn to me, especially when it's negative. So I am thinking about doing an outing. I'm just trying to wait until I'm more comfortable and prepared for it. So the next question is, how many babies do you have? So first I have Leo. I have Milo, Isabella, Carly, oh, and Chloe. I have five dolls. The next question is, which one is your favorite, Carly or Isabella? I technically don't have a favorite, but the one that I do like the most out of two of them are Carly, just because Carly's silicone is different. She's more floppier, more a little bit more realistic. I would have to say her, but to be honest, I all see them equally, but they all do have different silicone. So the next question is, what was the most expensive doll? So my most expensive doll would have to be Isabella. I think she was like 200. She was one of my most expensive dolls. So the next question is, how do your parents feel about you playing with dolls um my parents are literally one of the reasons why i play with them ever since i was younger i would get dolls and it got to a point where it became a habit which i really enjoyed getting them every christmas and everything i would always ask them to get me dolls and they would give it to me so they're one of the reasons why i play with it they're one of the reasons why i even have dolls and they actually do support me a lot the next question is do you plan on buying more dolls and do you see yourself quitting so me personally i don't see me playing with dolls forever i think i will probably stop once i I'm actually having real kids and I do plan on getting another doll. So next question is why did you start your YouTube channel and what's your motivation? So I started my YouTube channel because I want to show how I play with dolls. 
I was never expected to like blow up this much. Like I didn't expect to blow up this much. I was just pretty much making videos of stuff that I really like to do. It just became something really big. And I'm really happy that it became something that's really big. And my motivation was seeing other kids my age and even seeing adults play with it. And I feel like seeing adults play with it really like gave my confidence. I feel like that adults get more hated on for playing with it. So it really like boosts my confidence when I see how brave they are and how amazing they are. It's like if they could do it, I know um, that I can yeah, do it Yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. that was pretty much all of the questions so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in my next youtube video